Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Not to get off topic, and a lot of niggas might look at me funny, but I'm a Trump supporter. Word. That's interesting. Why why you say that? Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot podcast episode number nine. Number nine, we got Mr. Ruga in the yeah. building. Yeah, what a lot like. Appreciate you. Really? Thanks for having me. I, I can't appreciate Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. I can't appreciate it's, you. It's like royalty man. on the show right now. You feel me? Absolutely. Like real rat. It's some legendary shit right now. Absolutely. Here. First things first, I just want to get into the sponsors. Shout out to Game Time Cuts for sponsoring today's podcast, giving the uh, you know, the shirts out, everything, man. Hell yeah. The white game Shout Time out the white, our guy. You absolutely, know what I'm absolutely. Best in the business. Go get absolutely. your go get your, your top chop. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Absolutely. And today, who, who, who we drinking today? Jumbo Yo, I had to get the royalty for the royalty. You know Absolutely. What I'm we got that 1942 flows. Absolutely. You know oh, man. You got to open that up so we can start Whoa, it off and get, gotta, it, get it going right. Oh, we want to start the right. show with a shot? Yeah, we got to start the do, show baby. with a shot. At least get okay. it open. At least get us ready. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying, it's man? It's my first time on this shit. I ain't going to lie. So, oh, so, so, so first thing first, while he get that open. Right. Um. Talk to me. What you been up to, man? I, uh, you know, I'm going to just be honest, man. I'm a big fan. Appreciate um, it. Uh, absolutely. I came up, you, 40. I was actually really good friends with Jay Bezel. Um, you know, uh, just coming up through the Philly circuit. Okay. Um, you know, uh, like, uh, I, I'm a big fan of Dipset and just like everybody and J.R. Ryder and, you know, you and just everybody, just the whole movement. Like back in the day, like even the fashion to like all, like I, I came up in that. Like I, right. I, I had the skulls hanging off. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I had the, you know okay. what I'm saying? I, I was trying to get drippy like that. You okay. know, that, that was my whole thing. So, you know, me, I just want to. me, I was a big fan of the music. Music, bro, like, right, right, and, right. and, and that too, like the sure. beats that y'all was go- getting on back then is oh, like man. crazy. Appreciate it. Bro. Shout out to the heat makers. Oh, shout out to oh, the heat makers. I'm the glad heat you makers. said that. They the sound. Yo, they, they are the shit, the bro. The one sound. of my favorites, man. Shout out to the heat makers. Absolutely. Bro. Them beats yeah. on that first Joel's album. <laughs> Oh my Murder. God. Murder. Yeah. Now, now Murder. I got it. Damn, that's a great question. Just to start it off before we take our shot. Okay. Now, do you think those sounds and those tones? Would still work today? Uh, I would have to say yes. It depends how you approach it because you got to look at Griselda Records. Right. They, right. They kind of in that same pocket. Yeah. Right. No, and, I mean? and I think to an extent, like G Herbo's doing some some beats like that. G Herbo's doing yeah. production like, like that too. Yeah. But, but, yeah. but like a different, that, but the more modern shit. But like right. them, you know what I'm saying? them old Dipset records with them crazy big. Yeah. And Stupid. Them samples? Definitely Stupid. not the same. Oh my yeah, God. Nah, it's not the same. It's but not the same. But is it, so is it that the sound is moving away or the producers are moving away? The producers is moving away. And now nah, that's what that's a I'm glad you said that. Because I feel Definitely. like if you got one of them old school dipset crazy mm-hmm. beats, mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying? I, I feel like it would still work. Yeah, it would still dip work. Set, dip right. set, I, that that would still work. I, I mean, right now it's kind of like big for underground artists because you got the internet. Right, we right, just like, right. Fuck the radio. I don't need the radio to play me. Right. I don't. I don't, I don't need none of that. Let me put my shit on YouTube and I cater to my core audience. And and right. and that's what. And we're gonna take a shot to that because that's what the whole podcast is about. Right. Shooting your goddamn shot. Shoot your shot. You know what I mean, you don't need nobody. You don't need nobody. And, and we 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 gonna you know d- dive a little bit deeper into that you know a little later. But at the end of the day. That, that sounds like a good segue to take our first shot. Let's start and it absolutely, off, guys, man. make shout sure y'all shoot Rell, your shot. Love, love, Rell, love. Too well for help. Shoot your shot. Too well for help. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Woo, I gotta say, man, too, man. for somebody on your Woo. level, bro, you always, to me, you always been humble as shit. Appreciate you. Always grateful. Always like stand up. Always nice as shit to me, bro. Like, I just, I just wanna say I appreciate that. Absolutely. Bro. Definitely. Love, love. Yeah, always absolutely. love. Man. Always love. Really good guy. All right, so sure. first things first, I just want to, we, we, we got to start going into some background. Um, okay. Uh, first thing, you know, we want to start off with, um, uh, you're you from the Bronx, right? Yeah, born Okay, yep. so the Bronx is killing it right now. Yeah, Bronx on fire. Mm-hmm. So Definitely. we got, who we got? New, we got York, New York's killing it right A-Buggy. now, for real, for real. Yeah, oh, yeah. so uh, Cardi from there too, right? Cardi B. Cardi B, who else we got? You got the high bridge, the whole labor. Right, right, uh, right. 
Right. It's, it's, excuse me if I don't remember no other Is artists. Is A Boogie from there? Yeah. A Boogie from yeah. Hot Bridge. Yeah. You, yeah. yeah. you just said that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. It's French. Like, it's French know. from there? French. I grew up with French. Yeah, French yeah, yeah. Being like, I didn't know French. if you were So I, 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 I just got to throw this yep. in there. I just got to throw this in there. Your man Goods from there too, right? Goods is from the Bronx, oh, Battle Rapper. Wait. So, yeah. so you yeah. know, I just seen a crazy battle. You know what I'm saying? Cassidy is one of my guys. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And I ain't really like how that yeah, battle went down, We grew down, up off man. Cassidy. We grew up off of Cass, man. And, and, <laughs> and, and shout out to Cass, too. But, oh, man, that's such a great battle. I, you know, on both priorities. Uh, shout out to Goods, too, man. Um, he he absolutely does his thing. Shout out and to Goods. I, absolutely. And um and, and, and I, I like that battle rap space. You in that battle rap space? I love it. I love it. Now, I watch all the battle rap. Now I seen forty. Who he battle? Uh, he battles. I think, I think it was he battled Ill, Ill Will. Yeah, Ill Will. Will. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm. So now I got a question. Okay. Would you ever hop in that space? Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah. Uh, yeah. Nah. I, I, I nah. feel that. You, you just murder him on a track. Nah. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? But, but I mean, see, if the bag is that, right, that's what I'm about to that's say. The bag you, you is right. Them bars, you got the bars. You got the bars. They ain't gonna pay me what I want though. They might. Beasley might give it up. I don't nah, know. I'm not pushing for it. They gotta no, come no, no, no. We never pushing for it. They got to come to me like, yo, Ruga, we got a hundred for you. Yeah, but you know, you know, soon as soon as somebody start to, you know, put something, you know what I'm saying? You know, people start throwing shots and then, they, you know, with the whole Instagram, it starts to get a little, and, and, and you know, just coming up. I know you don't back down nah, from no, you know what I'm land. saying? That's I, not I, my I got you. That's not my I got you. Did you ever battle at all? Yeah, I was actually on 106 and Park. Oh, right. Oh, okay. word. Yeah. Freestyle Friday? Freestyle Titan? Friday. Oh, hey. uh. Who I battle? I battle uh, Poster Boy. I don't know. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I battle Poster Boy. Okay. He was so, like, he so, went for like 10 weeks straight. This is pre? Was that before Dipset? you got on? Yeah. This was pre Dipset. This is pre uh. Dipset. Yeah, this was 2000. 2000. Damn, one of that footage is wow. out there, anyways. That footage, it's out there. It's a fan sent it to me in the DM. He's like, yo, look, I've been fucking with you since then. I'm like, oh. Okay. Oh, word, That's word. Fine, yeah, but so, he, he had said a slick line to me. He said, yeah, you'll get a deal around the time Shine come out. And the whole crowd said, oh. Oh, damn. That's damn. That. <laughs> and that's probably like the same year that it happened. But, you know, Karma's a motherfucker, and I want him getting a deal, and he didn't. Right, so, right. Yeah. Shout out to Postal Boy, though, wherever yeah. he at. Though. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Word. So, that's so, pretty dope. So, though, so going into that, like, segueing from that, when did you actually meet Cam? Like, when did you start getting around him? How did that work? And, you know, that's kind of a loaded question, but, like, just in general, uh -huh. when did you meet Cam? Well, I started, uh, I was hustling in, uh, I was hustling in New London, Connecticut. Okay. Around 2000 and shit got hot and, uh, I got up out of there and I started hanging in Harlem with my, uh, my boy Luke Abrazi. Okay. Yeah, okay. He, he was, uh, doing all the mixtapes, the Taliban. I don't know if y'all familiar with the Taliban. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was like absolutely. early 2001, 2002. Absolutely. Yeah. So he, uh, had did a freestyle. To the song that Benny Siegel, Bleak, and Cam had that then it then then then. Oh then, 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 then. yeah! I did a. I did but a, was somebody else on there or just just you? No, it was Cam. Cam yeah, yeah, I do Cam, remember that. Bleak and uh, Benny Siegel. Benny Siegel, yup, yup. And uh, me and Uncasa did a freestyle over that Uncasa. beat. Uncasa, shout out to Uncasa. Yeah. And that was back when freestyles counted. Counted, like, you know counted. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah counted. Like, niggas was listening to every you got bar. Put on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you feel me? Them mixtapes were crazy yeah. back then. Phenom absolutely. Phenomenal era. So. Yeah, and that just made me think of a crazy question, though. Um, do you think freestyles could work on a Spotify type game because I just seen Lil Wayne upload that new that yeah, no that no ceilings thing and it sold like 30,000 40,000 in the first week from 2008 that's like huge. A, that's and that's got huge. and that's got all the uh, beats on there he was and, and, and I think the angle is like he's trying to lay the blueprint down for the mixtape rap right 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 you know like yo you can find maybe uh Maybe it's original beat or mm -hmm. whatever the situation is, mm -hmm. and you can still get it on Spotify, yeah, you and you can still Spotify. stream it like a song would. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. I, I love I, I love in, independent artists getting a chance to. The internet is 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 just wild wide open, yeah. right? You feel wild what I'm west. saying? It, Absolutely. There's no reason to sit around and cry while a nigga not helping you or right. a nigga not doing this for you. Like niggas selling beats on what uh what I what designer. <laughs> Yeah, bought the motherfucking beat off YouTube like Beat Star for yeah. two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know I, I, saying, I think so. uh, I think the uh, guy Lil Nas X kind of did the same type of right. same type of thing. I and was just showing an artist that today he didn't even know he signed too. He didn't even know. He's like, I'm trying to get these beats. I'm like, 
Bro, go to the YouTube link. <laughs> go to YouTube. He's selling. Go to YouTube. They sell that shit on there for like 200 bro. One of like, my street niggas that's just trying to rap, he asked me, yo, Ruger, you ain't got no producers or nothing like that? I said, nigga, I do what everybody else do. I type in future tape beat. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or Jay-Z type beat. Or right. Yo, type let's beat. take a shot to the type beats. Because <laughs> type there's beats a lot of type beats. Type beats game, is right? what it is right now. And you need them. And it it's changed, so easy. Change the game, bro. Because like back in the day, I, 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 I dribbled a dabble to uh -huh. rap. And, and, and you couldn't find the type beats. You had to go to New York. Canal Street, get the CD with the, you know what I mean? Or, or be on your, yeah. uh, or your, but, be but on your I do got, I do got to say, though, I do like the fact, like, uh, Nas just did a whole album with Hit Boy. Right. Incredible. And that shit epic. Incredible. Bro. See, a lot, of, a, lot of, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of artists don't focus on that. See, that's why a lot of artists get to what it, they find they sound. Gucci Man locked in with Zaytoven. Right. Did a whole album with him. When you find that producer that has his sound, you lock in with him. Heat makers. And you do a whole, heat makers. And you do a whole body of work with him. By the way, guys, that's ways. a major key, right. guys. Um, um, we, we discussed this prior on the podcast, so I'm glad you're re reiterating this. Uh -huh. Guys, it's so important to, uh, you know, not only find your producer that has your tempo and sound, and also lock in with your engineer that actually makes you sound the way you want to sound. Um, and that's like, or like that y'all have chemistry with. Right. Um, you know, a lot of people, could, you know, a lot of rappers think they could go anywhere, um, but they uh, realize and notice really quick that, um, you know. Do you have it, that with somebody now? Like, or engineer or producer that you like vibe with always? Yeah, back? Uh, yeah, I got a producer named No Gimmicks. He's been producing me for like 10 years. Hmm. So I just any project I do, I make sure he do three to four beats on it. Oh, okay, right, dope. right, that's fire. Yeah, right. and 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 everybody's like that too. Like you gotta figure like everybody that came up, um, you know, has that person that they went to, or even the first hit record you get, you're like, hold up, I gotta stick with him. Right, <laughs> it's basic yeah. cable. But let's let's uh, take a shot to sticking with your producers and engineers yeah. and paying your producers and paying engineer. your producers. Absolutely, producers gotta get paid. Shot. Producers gotta get paid. So now you um just whoa. So so the way I like to kind of do this hit you. is yeah, like uh, it's smooth though. Oh it's yeah, smooth. It's smooth. Smooth as you like it. Yeah, I like it. Just, I, it looks like we gonna kill this shit though. Real, real quick. Dope. You know, it's three but, of us. It ain't it, got, it ain't it gets bigger. Come on, Jim. You know this ain't our first rodeo. Of course. But um okay. So now you I'm said sweating. so you said you met, you met Cam. <laughs> oh I got you. Oh, through no, my, through oh, my homeboy Luca Brazi. Luke, okay, and then you you did a freestyle. Uh, Luca Brazi he played the freestyle for Cam. Okay. And 145th from Broadway in Harlem at that time was like the meeting ground for everybody that was part of the group. Right. So uh, Luca Brazi called me and was like, yo, Cam said come to 145th Street, he want to meet you. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Stop playing with me. Right. My man Luca Brazi always liked to joke yeah. and shit. Right. right. So he like, nah, it's serious. Matter of fact, look how serious it is. Put Cam on the phone. He's like, yo, where you at, B? Yo, pull up, oh, man. Shit. I want to hear Pull up, I want to meet you. And what year What year was it? This was 2001. Okay. So that's no internet. No, no that's free internet. No, no. Free, this is free. There's two ways. <laughs> right. Okay. There's so, two so, ways. So the Motorola you, flip phone era. <laughs> so right. when you got with him, what did you do? Like, you, 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 is it the classic, I freestyle for him? I ain't going to lie. I went from high school straight to the leagues. Mm. Mm. You feel me? At that time, uh, Rockefeller was calling that bass line. He just had got his deal with Rockefeller and oh, did the movie I hey. uh, paid him full. Right. So uh I remember it was two thousand and one. Uh he called me out the blue and uh we went to uh is that two thousand one or two thousand two when he had the uh uh damn, what is that? Uh you good. what is that? The NBA thing when he have like the, the basketball. Well the thing? rocker at the not the rocker. No, no, out here in Philly. Oh, it was, uh, uh, the Sunny Hill League? And, and, no, 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 no. Every year they have it in a different city. I'm Why the fuck I'm tripping, man? I don't watch right. basketball. Damn. It's uh, not the All-Star game. No, it's something else. All right. Well, anyway, they was having something big in Philly. Right. And uh, he like, yo, you could drive? I'm like, yeah, I could drive. So he like, yo, drive the truck. He just bought the brand new Denali. So we right. drove out here, drove to Philly. Uh, Jay-Z had his show. Right. And uh, Jay-Z ain't performed. So he performed, and we came back... Uh, to New York, we went straight to baseline. Wow. Damn. The first record I recorded, uh, which is funny, is because Heat Maker gave him a CD. It had, this is what I do on there. Uh, <laughs> Class. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. The joint where uh, DMX was really okay. good. It okay. had that on it. Okay. Uh, 
Had, that's back when you had to have a CD too. Right. That's what I was saying. Had, we built the city. Right. So it was Studio yeah. A and Studio B. He like Legendary Studio. Le- by the yeah. Way. It's Legendary Studio. Legendary. By the way, shout out Baseline. Shout out uh, Hove. Uh, he like yo, take the CD, whatever you like off of it. Right. Record two records. So I went to Studio A. Oh, so it was just beats on there. It was yeah, beats it was just on there. CD. Wow. He made a CD. Yep. Oh, yep. Wow. So he gave me the CD and said, "Go in the room." Right. And uh. I knocked out two records. He was like, yo, this is going on the album, B. Yo, we keeping this. Right. And from then on, I was just in baseline, baseline, baseline. Oh, man. But what was real about Cam is because at that time, I had a dope charge. So I was out on bail. I okay. was scared to tell Cam. I'm like, damn, I got to go sit down for a one and three. How the fuck I break this news right, to him? Right, right. I don't want to. He invested money in me. Right. And that's hard. You know what I mean? He booked a studio time. Right. He paying producers, shit like that. So right. I'm like, damn, I'm going to break this to him. Right. So I told him. Be like, nah, don't worry about that shit. Just record as much as music as you can. And then when you get out, we're gonna keep your name alive while you locked up. Oh, that's and when love. you get out, it's lit. That's love. So that's if you real. listen to uh, the real. Diplomat album, in the beginning of the song, this is what I do. He like, this is my man Hell Rel. Yeah, yeah. He locked up, he about to come home. Yeah. Hit him Rel. Love. So I'm like, uh, damn, this is a real right nigga. Oh, you right man. Real nigga. So <laughs> that's fine. That though. that that right there just blew my mind. Set it but, off but, but see, that's what I think the game is missing. The artist development. The right. artist sta- so do you think the game is falling off because of that or like well, how is that shaping because nowadays um, you know kids first of all the labels ain't even looking for artist development right, right, the right. A&R's ain't even trying to yeah, do they're that they're looking no for your they're not trying to pull shit. you in and you know nah, 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 sit with me for a second and nah. you know what I'm saying let's see if we're going to do a record here's a couple beats let me see what you could do uh-huh. they're not doing that no more they, they want you to have your own following they want you they're not even going to look at you if you don't got now, your own artist situation. development is real big Fabulous sat in a, a, a cut for two years because right. he sounded like Mace. Mm. Doing DJ Clue tapes until he was able to establish his own major fan base. Key. Right. And, oh, and, and build his fan base. Right. And, you know, that shit is major key. Yeah, right. Yeah, Absolutely. It's, diff- it's different nowadays. They should have both, though. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, it should right. be developed artists and it should be the ones that got popping themselves popping. And I think we got more beat makers than producers in this era. Fast. Right. For a sure. producer's gonna tell you going a producer's gonna tell you, nah, stop, say it like this. I think you should add ad libs this or put this behind that. Exactly. You understand right. what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. Right. Yeah. Now if you just an engineer and you don't got a relationship with the artist, you don't know how he might take that. Right. So you might stay in your, your own lane. But right. if you got a relationship with the artist, right. exactly. it makes sense to tell and, them. And, and, I test the waters. Right. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, and absolutely, everybody think the little Wayne. So they go in there, no no writing. Yeah. And everybody oh, think they Jay-Z, this, this Big, and Lil Wayne. I say it all the so, time. Yo, maybe you, know, <laughs> you should say, maybe you should just say it instead of if. Yeah, right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? It, I, it absolutely. Cool. But, I, but I'm not even talking about that. I'm saying everybody's just going in there, right, right. thinking they're... Jay's, I, and I'm not saying that's a good or bad thing. Right. Matter of fact, let me ask you your opinion. What do you think? Hey, what's, as your far, what's, what, your what, what's your method? What's your method? What's your method? What's your method? You still go back to the pen, or do you think the pen is better? Do you think off the top, like what, what's uh, the just from an artist standpoint? I, I don't write technically. Okay. And I've recorded several songs with Jumbo, so I think okay. he could attest to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never seen it. Okay. I, I had to ask him, like, yo, did you write that down? <laughs> okay. You okay. feel me? I, I'm just asking. So, but no, nah, it's nothing wrong with writing it. But if you're not sure what you're writing, you're gonna sound like you're writing it. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and especially the beats are so up tempo now. Right, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's crazy so too. You're at the point where, like, when you when you say your bar, it's it's like, it's like you you got that tone and that voice. You get it out there. You know I, what do. I'm saying? I do. I right. do. And it's and it's like that every time. You right. know what I'm saying? And that takes time. To yeah, that, build. that takes no, 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 no. That, that's that was that was. was Definitely a lot of hard work. Right, right. I, I didn't get like right. that overnight. So, and, and that and that all comes back to you know putting the work in. That all comes back to knowing your sound, knowing mm-hmm. your pitch, and you know, and you know, having a good engineer behind you to make right, sure right. you did. Right. You right. understand what I'm saying? Just right. like y'all said, give you the pointers, whatever the situation may be. Right. And um, and you know, it's just like I think we need another shot today. Oh, wow. right. they're trying to kill me. We yeah, need baby. another shoot shot. Shoot shot. Shoot that's shot. why. That's why we here. Shoot Yikes. your shot. Woo. I like it though. I like it. You, you drink a lot, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but in the comfort of my own home, no. Right, quarantine at, yeah. Uh, days. <laughs> yeah. Shit turn. Yeah. I drink a lot. Hey. So after this oh, shot, man. we're just gonna think about yeah. it before Sheesh. before we take this shot. Um, I want you to give me a little aspect. What do you think is better of going independent or being signed? And I and I want you to 
Give me both both sides of the fence. Mm-hmm. You've been both. You've been both. You've been on both sides of the fence. I've been both. So and, before and we, what do you think? Hold on, hold on. Before you think we so? get into that, yeah. uh-huh. let's just take this shot. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. They trying hey. to kill me over here. Absolutely. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Yeah, shot. Love. Woo. Yeah, it's starting yeah. to, you know. Before you elaborate on that, like, do you think an a, a artist should sign a major now nowadays? Being that only if they give them ownership, right of their of their music. Only if they give you ownership. If you right. do a major, if you did a, if you do a deal with your major, um, excuse me, if you do a deal with a major, right. make sure ownership is in your uh, contract. So like, now, like a percentage or everything. No, straight ownership. Okay. So so if if you have ownership, ownership, isn't that like a distribution deal? Or like, give, give me a little bit a, aspect on like what the ownership. language is like what on ownership a, on a ownership type. Uh, of. Clarifying the meaning of ownership. I just mean only your masters. Oh, uh, okay. okay. So, so is there ever a time where a, a, a label will say, "I want this percentage of your masters"? Or no, they just use big words you don't know. So they just use big I, words. I, you I, don't I got know, caught right. out there like that. It's right. a word called perpetuity. Per- that, that means that, that for, means for, for a lifetime. Yeah, 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 I got hit with that before <laughs> yeah, from, you from a manager. Yeah. Right, right. Who was trying to sign me for some perpetuity shit? So I he thought I was dumb. I, yes, I, I was reading my, that shit up. Yeah, I was, I, was reading my, I was reading my app, my uh, my contract from Koch when I first signed with Koch. And, and, and hold I, on, that independent, that's an independent spot, right? Yeah, but it wasn't my deal. Like, oh, okay, got you. Got I you. was being signed through Cam's oh, imprint. Got you, right. so got you. I seen perpetuity. I'm like, man. It was no I, Google back then, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck this word means. <laughs> right. This 200,000 looking good right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. So, and, 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 that, and that's the game right there. So it's like, you know, you take that 200,000, you take that half a million or a million, whatever the situation is, and do you say, okay, leverage that? And and, and that's why I stress to these young kids, you know, or, or up-and-coming artists uh-huh. in general, make sure you have your leverage. Because when you get your leverage right, that means like, Social media right, your link trees right, mm-hmm, your your, mm-hmm. your Spotify things right, your pictures right, your marketing campaigns right. That's why when you so so once you got that right, we we're, we're not even talking about a hit record. We're just talking no, about bubbling a little leverage, bit. Yeah, yeah just leverage. bubbling a little bit. And now you know you with somebody or you yourself want to go to somebody and say I want a couple extra dollars mm-hmm. to, to 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 you know further what I got going on, mm-hmm. that's when, you know, that's when you can say no perpetuity in my deal. Absolutely. That's when you could come and say, you know, whatever the situation is. And honestly, you can say it whenever, but it's going to make the most sense when you're already got something going on and but, you're already going in the right but direction. But that's all, that, but that's included in all 360 deals now. The perpetuity? And, and, yeah, fact, yeah, fact. yeah. I don't and, give a fuck who you are, how big you are. Perpetuity is in that concept. And isn't it like a certain amount of albums Yes, yeah, a certain amount of albums, depending on what what deal they sign. But Perpetuity is in there, so technically, a lot of your favorite stars that's major right now that right. did their first deal right. do not own the rights to that specific project. Wow! Right. Wow! So in ten I don't years, names, when right. it gets played on a somewhere else, Bad so, Boys Ten come out and they want to use a record from that uh, project, right. you ain't getting a check. Damn, right. that's deep. Damn. So, so, so that, and I'm glad you said that too, because that's one word that I just don't understand completely is 360. Okay. So I, I get that 360 meaning full circle, meaning they take everything all the way around the board from every which way it, you know, it goes. Um, you know, I have a good friend that was actually on the show, uh-huh. um, you know, uh, not to get into any names, but, he, you know, he, when he first started, he... The show was the, the, the show came from a, a, a perspective where we're going to put you here. Mm-hmm. So no matter what you do, all around the board, right? We need everything. We need can a I, piece of everything. Can I say three things that consist of uh, a three sixty? Okay, yeah. Please explain. Record sales. Record sales. Merchandise. Okay. Tour sales. Right. And they okay. hit all. So they're double. They're triple dipping. Right. 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 We getting your record sales. You selling shirts, right. we, we getting a piece of that. Right. You go on a big tour, which you 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 right. negotiated. Right. Let's just say it has nothing to do with that. Yeah, label have nothing to do with future saying, yo, jumbo, let's come on tour. Right. And you're gonna make two, three, four, five million. Right. Label getting a cut of that. Right. right. You like man, and, 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 you like, man, you don't even know fucking future. How the fuck you And but, it's crazy, they making money off these streams. But, but see, but see, I got a question though. I'm like a math guy. So if <laughs> if 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 there's now nah, I'm being honest with you. So I like it. So <laughs> so if if it's a 360, right? Right. Would, would it be better to take a 360 if the percentage is low on all three? 
So like for example, like let's just say you went to a let's just say you went to like a they spot. They take ten percent. Like 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 let's just say you went to a spot wanting to get a deal, and they say, "Yo, we we, we just want uh forty percent of your record sales. You take sixty, we take forty. Okay." And you, they don't care about your shirts. They don't care about your tour. Uh -huh. They just want 60, 40 because they know you're about to do like mm -hmm. 80,000. Let's mm -hmm. just say. All right. Boom. Is that better? Or is it better to take a 360 and they only take 10% of your record sales, 10% of your shirts, and 10% of your tour? Mm, I think the 60, 40 is better. Yeah, I think the 60, yeah. 40 is better too. Now, what if they, now what the give you, now what right, they right, give you right, 6 right, million up front? Well, I say take the six billion. <laughs> six million. Million, million. I take the six million. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have six million to hide. I take the six million. I think they did that with NLE Chopper. He got yeah. like six million. Well, that was like the little pump. Thing. No, but he actually went independent his first project. Yeah. Uh, he, was, he was on that United Masters. He was on United Masters campaign. with Steve Stop. Yep. He was on yeah. that United Masters campaign. Right, right, I seen right. it. And that's, and that's one good thing about. Uh, by the way, you guys, if you don't know United Masters, what's the other one? TuneCore? United Masters, TuneCore, CD Baby. Distro Kid. Distro Kid. Oh, please recommend the best one for them that you think. Because uh, hey, you're independent now, and you right. you put out all your stuff just right, right. solo, dolo, right? right? right. Like, mm -hmm. I would say uh, CD Baby or TuneCore. Yeah. Okay. Either or. Uh, Quick question. Just to get into a little bit more technical side of it. People are using... You know the game's real crafty uh -huh, right now, so you uh -huh. know we're going, you're going YouTube beats, we're going. So let's just say, I, all right, let's just say hypothetically, the, the average process is I'm I'm downloading a YouTube beat, I ain't paid for it, I just downloaded, ripped uh -huh. it, I made a song to it, and I want to put it put it out. What's the best thing to use to do that? Even if like I know the, the, that's not really legality, but we're we hustlers, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. So we try and get it on there and try and get popping. What's the best way to do that? I would say get in contact with the producer. Okay. Because he's not big headed. He don't got no ego. He just want to get in the game at that point. Yeah. Cash the beat out. Cash I don't give a fuck out. what he want, two, right. three hundred. And that's right. one thing about new artists. It's like they don't want to spend that money. They don't want to spend that money. They don't man. want to spend that money. You gotta spend that money. They don't, man. They don't even want to spend the money in the studio. No. Yeah, man. like you you, the you gotta you gotta spend the money, man. Buy the beat. Buy the beat. Because it's 15, 20 niggas who downloaded that same yeah, beat. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you feel and, me? And, 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 and let me court. let me tell you from being in from being an engineer for 10, 12 years. Uh huh. Record the song first off the free YouTube download. Right. If it you did. think it's the one, go ahead and buy that beat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, that, right. You, know, you don't got to buy it without recording it, and then you record it, and it ain't right. yeah. what you thought it was. And one, and one loophole is, you know, if you put a record out and you don't sell it, a producer can't sue you. And if, uh, and, and you are you sure, uh, are you positive about the exact number? I know there's a number. A like, number uh, like, like meaning, like, if you don't, uh, like, most things, you a producer can't take nothing from you if they don't, if you sell less than 5,000, like, let's just say units or if it. Well, they ain't gonna like sue that. you if they ain't no money. Oh, no, they could put a cease and desist. They could put a cease and desist. They okay. can get the project right, sucking down. Right, I've so, seen okay. that done, too. Right. And, and I'm a crafty guy, I ain't gonna lie. So what I do, what I would do is I, like, tempo it down a little bit so it doesn't pick up. That's either here or there. We were, we were talking you know about that. Saying? We were talking about I'm that last honest. show. That's, what that's a good me. one. I, that's a that's a how you feel. It's a, it's a rapper Randy that's doing uh, that right now. You know, yeah. industry beats like okay. Oh, yeah. And he's Philly rap. We he's talked pitching about them that. down. He's doing all industry so it doesn't beats. hit the filters or so, whatever. Oh, so he's so slowing the beat down. Right. No, he's, he's changing the pitch of the it. The pitch of it. So the that changes damn near the whole beat. No, it doesn't. Kind of, sort of, sort of. But YouTube, people do that on YouTube anyway to get it on YouTube. Yeah, that's right. Right. some songs and shit. Right, 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 right. So, 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 not to get too technical, but when you when you change the pitch of it, it only changes the key of the beat. It doesn't slow it down anymore. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like okay. back in the day when you were you were using a absolutely, like, yeah, and, absolutely. And you, you pitch it down on the on the, on the turntables, the whole beat slower. The and the, and the filter, the filter is what's catching them. But a producer could catch right. them damn self and say, they got "Lawyer, so uh, send that John." Absolutely, right, 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 right. And and and, and, and my whole thing is. Like I said, we want to shoot your shot, and, and we all hustlers. So I want y'all to shoot your shot because the biggest problem that I have with artists is they don't put the damn music out. So it, I'm just giving you a hustle way to do it. You know, I want, of course, I want you to pay your engineers. That's that, you know, I want you to do your other thing, but I really want you to put the music shoot out. Your well, shot. That, shoot that, your that, shot. Uh, yeah, let's. <laughs> y'all already know. When we, we say shoot up. your shot. We pour it up. So make sure y'all shoot your shot, and um. You, you got a, you got a quick hit game for us, Jim? Yeah, I got yeah I got this done. Uh, Check came up with this. Okay, uh, a couple. It's Jumbo's turn ago. today. So I got I have I had to make one for you. You feel me? What's that? So basically, it's like a uh, it's like a rapid fire quick hit. I'm a I'm a I'm a say something and you're just gonna answer it. And 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 don't mind me if I feel like one of them I, I want to just elaborate on. Yeah, and you could elaborate. No, you could elaborate uh, too. Right, cool, 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 cool. These are quick. We might have went over a couple of them, but dope. 
All right. Oh, before we get there, jump, jump, oh, jump. We shoot our shot. Yeah, oh, we shoot. I ain't even pour up. I ain't even pour up. We shoot our shot, jump. <laughs> I'm drunk. So, <laughs> this is, you know, this oh, jumbo first time on in 1942. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I, just, I requested it. What you think I, about it? It's smooth, bro. Smooth okay. I just spilled whistle. it all over myself. Like it's smooth moving in like, Patron. You know, uh, absolutely. It is. So, it have you had the zoo yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I heard, which one you like better, 1942 or Zoom? 1942. I think ringing uh, the bell. I'll tell you what, this shit, this shit is <laughs> not easy to get. Right. I don't want to ring the bell. The girls be ringing the bell. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's a girl start, thing. Yeah. This but shit I'm not like, easy you know, to get. I had to go drive the, for this shit. From the mud, we, we tapped the shout bottom of the head. Shout out to Jumbo <laughs> for going nah, above and beyond. Shout out to Hell No, shout out to you for being here. First first interview in how long? Thanks for having Two years. Two years. Two years. Look it up on the internet. Two years. Woo! So before I get into that, you got anything coming out like soon that you want to Yeah, I'm sh- working on my uh I don't want to say final album. But Nah, it can't be the final. Can't man. be the final. Because man. <laughs> listen, I I'm, you I'm, here I, forever, I need, dog. Need, you here forever. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but rock stars got a, 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 a rock and roll artists have a long longer lifespan than rappers. Well, mm-hmm. that's because the other communities support each other longer. Absolutely. So why would I cater to something that's not supporting? If the people want it, I'll give yeah, it to them. Right. But that's kind of hard with an artist, with I a know. rap artist, because it's like, damn, me, I do I come you, out I with a a, 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 a a project this late in my career? Yes. People going to accept it. And it's generational. Shot. Yeah. It's and, generational. Like, and, and you your could, fan base is a little different. Right. Than, you know. Well, and you, also, could, you could love the craft, but the young niggas is like, want this old nigga move out the way? What the fuck is he doing? Uh, well, fuck that. Man. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but I'm, I'm working on my album, Golden Triangle. Okay. Okay. Do you know what the golden triangle is? What the Bermuda Triangle? Golden Triangle. Is, is, that, oh, the, is that the golden uh, all, number? All, all the golden and, ratio? All, all C and I, I? It's a triangle. Uh, it's Vietnam at the top, mm. Saigon, mm. and another uh, Asian company uh, country, right. which forms a triangle. That's where uh, Frank Lucas went to go get his dope. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's the golden triangle so if you look on the map it's like it's a triangle but they call it the golden triangle mm. right. so the last album is straight hair on Ooh. it's uh, dope that, that, are, are yeah. you looking at any features you're trying to get or I'm not too big on features okay my voice is is strong enough to carry oh absolutely carry by myself I, I, I agree if I, it I worked like out every, yeah I feel like everybody in Dipset had that strong like yeah. huge J.R. Ryder 40 uh, Jewels, even Cam, Cam is the Jim the, Jones. Come on, Cam is a goat, man. Goat. He, he, he is he the goat. A, he, you know, one thing about Cam, he and this, and you don't see this in this era, is that he's not afraid to give somebody else a shot. He'd be like, "Yo, this my man. Be rap for him or put him on a song." And it's a lot of artists. I don't want to name no names, but it's a lot of artists that Cam did records with, gave niggas shots, and it was kind of like an alley you. I'm going to throw you a no-look pass. Right. If you missed the dunk, right. it ain't my fault. I feel like right. he did that at the I beginning still look good. Yeah. Right. My pass still looked Im- Absolutely. immaculate. Mm. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Absolutely. I threw you the no-look pass. Absolutely. You and missed I, the layup. I feel like Absolutely. a lot of artists nowadays are too, like, the popping ones are too, like, they don't show as much love to, you know what I'm saying? They won't tag somebody in a post. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? And like, I think, I think, I don't know if you guys feel the same way as me, I think GOAT gets thrown around too easy in this Absolutely. era. Absolutely. I'd be looking at some artists who on, who on their first album and it's a bunch of niggas in their comments, GOAT, GOAT, GOAT. Right, right, the right. GOAT emoji. I, I, like, huh? I think they, they mean it. They, they, they saying it the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? They're saying it as like, he's fire, but mm, GOAT, mm, GOAT, we nah. know what GOAT means. It's nah, not you, that. You, 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 can't, you can't mix that up, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, right? yeah, like they, they say but it It's wrong. becoming a slang that's used I feel readily. a GOAT like, they call me the GOAT. I ain't no fucking GOAT. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, some people call me that shit. Like, nah. In your profession, I, 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 I would say that. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's different. You. It's but, different. But the people that came before me, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. The, the names right. are crazy. No, you know no, I get saying? it. It's I like, get it. It's like a hove in engineering, you know? I get it. Mixing. Absolutely. I get it. You know it. what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's like, but they're, they're the GOAT for real. I think GOAT title should only go to an artist if he broke one. Yeah. Ooh. If you ain't break an artist, nigga... Mm. What the fuck are you really doing out here? Well, I don't know. 
That's true. You I know think, what I'm saying? Yeah, I always say DMX is one of my goats. And I, I ain't DMX, right. No, DMX is a special case. <laughs> yeah, he's a special yeah. case. That's, <laughs> an, angel, that's right. an angel that God sent to us <laughs> yeah, just in human form. Yeah, no you feel what I'm saying? Right. No right. So it's like, yeah. if you ain't break an artist, it's right. like, right. we can't look at you as a goat, man. Right. Cam um, broke a lot of artists, yes, man. Yes, The whole oh, squad. Yeah. Oh, Jay-Z, yeah. wow. look like, come on now. Jay-Z did the same shit. He's still doing it. Still doing it. J. Cole. That's another part of the game that's out. Jay Z even, even like, had a big part in Rihanna's career too. Absolutely, like, Jay Z brought uh, Rihanna, Rick Ross, to all the Def Jam. Jeezy he brought all them. Jeezy had all them. He was like president there at that time. Absolutely, crazy, bro. Right, right. Absolutely. But yeah, that's a good point though, bro. Like it, it needs to happen more because that's part of development too. Right. Like, they're picking somebody they fuck with over, right. over like right. following. You know, absolutely. What I'm over absolutely. So. It's, it'll be a better music. And it shows a part of your character, too. It's like, you know what's hot. Exactly. Right. And especially, like, the success that these artists get when they do get put on by somebody like that is way bigger than than these other guys. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that's a good point, bro. But, yeah, let's get into this quick hit shit. Let's so, do that. So I'm going right, to throw them out there, and you and you, you just, just pick a, One off the top of the head, whatever you, whatever you gotcha. got. One gotcha. or the other. Let's do it. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. Uh, 90s hip-hop or early 2000s hip-hop? Mm, 90s hip hop it made me ah, I mm. bet hard work or talent I, ta- I gotta go with hard work I hard like work that. beats talent I if like talent to work hard shout out to fact. Jadakus I like fact. that one for sure gotta J- go with hard work Jay Z or Dame Dash <sighs> Dame Dash is a personal friend of mine it's my big homie hey I'm cool with but that I, 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 <laughs> I gotta go with Hov. Hey. <laughs> no, no, that's a no. goat too. By the way, Hov. They, hold on, no, they're both goats. They are um, sure. both goats. Yo, for don't sure. get it twisted. I love Dame Dash. Like one quick, I just want to expound on this one. Oh man, every time I hear that man speak, bro, it 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 it, 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 it like inspires me to like want to go out there and get it on a different Absolutely. type of level. Motivation. Dame, Dame could give you a conversation. That can make you feel broke even if you got fifty thousand dollars. Yes, in your and there's just only one other person. There's only one person I know personally like that. Irv God is a real good friend of mine. He's the same exact way. Him and him and Dame, they got that drive, that Salute drive, and that and that talk that just right. that just inspires me. Put a fire yeah. up under me. And um, motivation. Shout out shit. to Dame Dash, and um, you know I love everything he's doing, and uh, I love you know. Just his, just his aspect of it. I would never take nothing away from him for doing it the way he's doing it. Absolutely, because I love it that way. Right. And right. if it, and if, and, and if it takes him to the top, oh man, that's even double. Were right. you, were you in some of that meetings where he came in there and Brody shit like? E, yes, I, 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 I snuck in a few. Cam, Cam had me with him. Cam had me with him, but you, see, but you know, Dame Dash is a, he's a fucking, he's a, he's a mogul. Yeah, mogul for sure. He's a mogul. mogul. He no, was on that me. music mogul. No, 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 no. Mogul, mogul. He's a fucking tycoon. Mm. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I guess that's Dame a- doesn't like to be called a mogul. He likes to be called a tycoon. He's a fucking tycoon. Oh. I, I, yeah, yeah. For He's sure. a business tycoon for sure. Definitely. <laughs> the music had, mogul, one of the best that ever. He had ten of his own companies when he was with Rock. And he goes all in on every one of them. All Absolutely. in, like, flipping the money. Like he's the, like, yeah. yo, why am I gonna hold the money? Why am I saving it and, for? I'm putting and, it back in the business. And that's love and, it. And let's not forget, he coined the uh, the famous phrase, "I hustle for my last name, not my first name." Absolutely, mm-hmm. he was telling Envy and them there. Mm-hmm. That's huge, major. huge, big. That's a huge. rap. That's a bar. All my huge. all my daughters <laughs> and my wife got my last name. Right, right. I hustle oh, for that. Right. Real shit, bro. That's major. Huge. That's major. Huge. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to Dame, well, Yeah, though. but that, that was good. Let, that let was me good keep stuff. going. But I like this list, though. Let's yeah, keep going. Right, Let's keep going, Joe. Right, a great beat or a great feature? <sighs> mm, that's a good one. That's a good one, yeah, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some thought to these. Great feature. Great feature. Absolutely. I like that. I Absolutely. Like that. Great feature. All right. That's, yeah. A Ruger or a Glock? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what everybody was saying when they meet that was me. A good right? Ruger. Right. <laughs> Definitely Ruger. All right, all right, all right. Let's P89 to be, specific, to be specific. Boom. <laughs> Bet. All right, streamer era or mixtape era? Oh my gosh. <sighs> mixtape era, but that streamer era is different. Right, and, and I'm gonna just say I, I think the bag is a little bit different in the, in the streaming area. Sure. Nah, the bag is is, is a phenomenal. Yeah, 
Yeah. Did, were were you putting out mixtapes where you would sell like thousands of them for a buck? Was that was that a thing in New York? I know that was a thing in Philly. Uh, I put all my I put out all my mixtapes to Duke the God. Shout out to Duke the God. That that motherfucker I got filthy God. rich off of all my mixtapes. Yeah, I ain't get no money off of it. <laughs> that was kind of like got a, the fame though. Yeah, right? that was that was kind of like a. a uh, so he was hand, he work. was hand to hand in them jaws. No, no, nah, nah, definitely hand to hand. Duke the God, Duke the God, pick up. Uh, Dude, the guy, I broke a rap music. Mm. I don't know if you guys, you guys yeah. familiar with that. Absolutely. I broke a rap music with the record. I'm the shit. First of all, he's a goat too. By yeah. the way, yes he, yeah. yes he is. Yes he is. I got the I got go. the 2500 right here. Go, a rap. Feel go, me? go on the NPC. <laughs> no bullshit. Salute, salute to my little bro. But uh, yeah. I broke a rap with I'm the shit. Featuring Cameron. That was the first record that A-Rap did for anybody Mm. out of Dipset. That's legendary. So, you know, uh, Duke the God. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Absolutely. Duke the God was uh, very intricate in all my mixtapes. Gotcha. He supplied all the production. I recorded in his studio. And... I ain't never get paid, but <laughs> hey, the streets hey, love man. me for it. It's all exactly. love. Shout out to the guy. It paid off a little bit. It paid off. Now, I wasn't tripping off that. Duke <laughs> right. made millions off them tapes. That's dope, man. Yeah, and, and uh, there's a lot of people that had in-house, and, you know, mm-hmm. we had a couple we had a couple groups in Philly. Like, like for example, Meek Mill came out on one that was called Headshots, and the owner of that. So they would, they would all record. I, I don't know their whole business side okay. of what it was, but I know they used to throw parties and stuff, and they used to hand out the mixtape. It's called Headshots. Boom, they used to I'm familiar with it. I, I, yeah, I, I, and there would be people on the L okay. selling them, L and, and selling there would be little them. spots you go up and buy them for five. They flip them for, they sell them for a dollar to the spots. Yeah, the spots sell them for. Five. So then when everybody, mm. the, you know yeah. What I'm so then when everybody went independent in that little um, mixtape era, what everybody would do is then they kind of like cut the quote unquote underground label mm-hmm. off, and then they would say, they would call the distributors, and they would be like. Yo, I got. I'm dropping tonight. I got ten thousand for you for a duck or two dollars. Right? Yeah. My, you know, I got, the, you know the, what I'm the bigger you were, the like me said, were. he made a, a hundred thousand off Flamer. Yeah, I, I was with him when he made him. like fifty, and that was all hand to hand. I believe him. Yeah. I was, you know, we we pressed up. Yeah. Twenty thousand copies of DJ Champ Studio easily. Right. Fifteen burners. Crazy amount of tapes. We. Yo, I did it yeah. with and we run the streets. I put out yeah. a beat mix tape. And we sold that shit. We went all around Philly. Shout out to Hand. Shout out to Hand. It was though. It wasn't on no rapper shit, but you know, right. it was all right. It was a it was a nice experience. But yeah, let's keep it moving. Go so, uh, Apple or Spotify? <laughs> Spotify. Mm, mm. Like that. Like that. Spotify. All right. Here's one for you. Meek Mill or Beanie Siegel? Oh man, why y'all gonna do that? I <laughs> <laughs> make you work, Ruga. <laughs> I did a lot of motherfucking. Uh, Damn, that's a you rough did a lot of work with Beans, right? I put no, I put a I put on a lot of street work listening to that Beans album, man. right? Absolutely, right. <laughs> Meek is a young king. Shout out to Meek, that's my little bro. But uh, Beanie Siegel, absolutely. I'm sorry, I like Beanie that. I ain't mad at you. Broad Street Bully, absolutely. I ain't mad at you. Absolutely. Did y'all ever do a song? Shout out to Meek, though. I never did a song with Beans, man. I, that's. That's something I kind of regret in my Y'all career. had to be together in the studio on many occasions, right? I've been around him. I've yeah. been around him, but when he was, like, gigantic when I was around him. He was, like, right. huge. Right, 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 right. Jay-Z's, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, right. Jay-Z's Ruga. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Straight up. All right. Um, a number one Billboard hit or, like, a solid 10-year career just floating along? A solid 10-year career. For sure. Dope. For Dope. sure. They're going to forget about you after that billboard hit. Absolutely. Facts. <laughs> Facts. There's a uh, lot of them out there. Right. So, uh, Knicks or the Sixers? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to them bum-ass Knicks. <laughs> but uh, I'm from New York. I got to go with the Knicks. I like that. I got to go with the Knicks. I got to go with the Knicks. I got, Knicks two, I got two more for you. All right. Then we're going to shoot a shot. Yes, I got sir. a couple questions for you. Okay. All right. Your favorite current New York rapper? Ooh, my favorite crazy. current New York rapper. Yeah, rapper from New York. Mm, that's a good one. That's a real good one. I'm going to just say my favorite, my guy, Fabio Foreign. Shout out to you, brother. I'm, glad, I'm glad you ain't say the other guy, check. Oh, Sh- we're going to get to that. Fabio. But the key word. Oh, in actually, that, I'm sorry. Him and Dave East are like, Dave East my like. Shout out to Dave East. That's my little brother. Right. Uh, the key word in that was current. Right. He yeah. ain't say right. back in the days or right. overall. Bro, so I'm, I'm going to give it up to Pop Smoke. Oh, like okay. That. Okay, I like, I like that. that. Pop Smoke like is fire. Yes, rest fire. in peace. Rest, rest in, in peace, peace to Pop. For absolutely. Sure. 
All right, last one. Joe Buns or academics? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Res- respects is both of those brothers, but no comment. And let's, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do a shot. Let's do a shot. Yeah. Yeah. See, Yo, I, shout out to Ruger, man. See, I'm no trying to make TV. I'm a blogger, so I, I, I you know, I get all no, that. No, I love you the questions. I love it. All right, but I, hold on, I just want to ask one more thing, just piggybacking off of okay. that. Okay. How important do you think the blogs are to artists' career? Humongous. Okay, I'm glad you said that. I'm Humongous. Said that. The blogs. I, because uh, a lot of rappers think that the blogs don't matter and you know good bad or indifferent um which, ra- blog- which rappers you think the newer ones are like the ones that's on already what do you mean like Let's, don't don't oh, think that they're important oh the ones that are on yeah the ones that are on them that maybe have a hit record or two or maybe got some right. momentum going Some ego yeah, shit. so so what happens is you're posting their, their album you're posting their mixtape you're posting they're, they're, they're good they're bad but mm-hmm. when, when the bad is they don't like it and they go on that blog and um Hundred thousand see it? Yeah, they like fun. hold up, hold up. Let me go see if it's bad. Yeah, no, no. no, no. I had to learn by experience, man. All publicity is good publicity. Absolutely. When I heard a nigga say that, I said, "Make it the fuck out of here." And, and shit. you're I'm a controversial cat. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Am. That I am. I we am. Get into that. All publicity is good publicity. Sure. I got jumped on camera, and. Nothing changed. My shit shot out the roof. I said, this is weird. That's crazy. I, I, <laughs> See, I wasn't even going to say that. No, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm, shit happened. I got caught slipping. Oh, I'm a street nigga. Right. But I'm just saying, after that, shit got different. Right. Bitches, more bitches wanted to fuck me. I thought shit would uh, get but, different after 50 said your name. What happened with you? What's going on with you and 50? I ain't got none of that. That was uh, what they call like <laughs> casualty of war. <laughs> Okay. Casualty means somebody no, else started it, exactly. but you. Yeah. I, I, I get what that you was said. that was Jim and Fifty shit. He just added me in. All right, so I'm. Um, uh, but was, you made the song though. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. <laughs> that shit was I fire. Did. But shout out to Fifty though. You know, we all know Fifty's a character. He's a yeah. funny nigga. He, he, One thing he's about hilarious. Fifth, when he come at you, he don't stop. He don't boy. stop. But he, it's all right because any publicity is good publicity. You 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 saying my name with a hundred million followers? Good look, bro. But I I I did reverse psychology on Fifty. <laughs> He when a nigga diss him, he res, he's respecting he's expecting the response. Right, so, right. So I I counted it with love. I'm like, I don't know why mm. Fifty dissed me, man. I love Boo Boo. I grew up on Get, Get Richard Die Trying. Right. That's one of my favorite albums. Okay. And he commented on the picture on the uh, the post that I put up, and he was like, uh, "Rel, I ain't got nothing with you, man. I, I love the culture, man. Mm-hmm. I, I I said I ain't say less." He ain't never put nothing up. Right, right, right. Leave me alone. We 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 right. call that in Philly. That's when we on angles. Yeah. What happens is you try to rob me. I'm like, bro, I, we we went to school together, bro. Walk down here with me. Now, I know your grandma. Right, I know your grandma. Now like, I air you out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I go. That's called we on angles. You know what I mean for y'all, all y'all Philly yeah. cats. I like that. <laughs> Shout out to Philly angles. <laughs> <laughs> Those shits must have got a lot of niggas killed. <laughs> Shit fucked up. It don't even be no kill me scamming. Right, be right, 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 right. Niggas right, right. be all angles for sure. Right. It be just for there fun. There we go. Let's, let's take a shot <laughs> to that. <laughs> shoot your shot, man. Shout out Hell Row. Absolutely. Shout, shout out, out Shoot Your Shot Podcast. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Never gets easier. All right, so real God quick. damn it. I need your opinion <laughs> on some new topics. Now, we just talked about Jim Jones, 50 Cent. So I need for your opinion on this whole 6 9 situation Jim Jones being on the wiretap. Is he the whatever king? Whatever the situation, like, <laughs> situation may be. Let's talk about it. We had to talk about everything. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me, let's start, let's start from the indictment and let's just start with Jim Jones being on the wiretap. Okay. First of all, I wasn't even familiar that Jim Jones was still like affiliated that deep in. I always knew Jim was known for getting into some. Tussling it up, but I ain't know he was still going that direction. Right. So for him to, for me to hear that he giving the top dude the advice on what to do on some conversation that I had with my nigga, that just was like I won't say sh- shout out to Jim Jones for that because I I thought he was just chilling. I see him on Love and Hip Hop or whatever. I just feel like he'd be chilling. He is chilling. He just gave advice and he had no knowledge that the feds was listening. Right. Simple right. as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, but it, it, but it, but I, I think more so what I'm saying is the respect that they're calling him for their advice. 
So he's still the big homie, no matter how we, we look at it. To an extent. To an extent. To an extent. To an extent. To I an don't extent. want to say big homie as he's active in gang violence and shit no, like no, that. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mel, Mel Matrix is my brother. That's okay. a childhood friend of mine. We was in DFY together 15, 16 years old. Mel Matrix was a part of Bird Gang, which right. was Jim Jones' label. Right. So, so that's deeply in yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's bigger than rap with those two. So, guys. so how do y'all go from these ten solid individuals and knowing how to pick them, for lack of better words, to you know being quiet for a good ten, then finding a young kid or the young kid finding y'all and going that whole six nine route. Because me personally, I loved how that happened at the beginning. At the beginning, at right. the beginning, right. um, you know, it, it it brought light. So so Bobby Smyrna brought light to New York, for me at least. Um, like brought, I mean, no, I, no, I mean like I mean like, and I don't mean brought light to Bobby New York. Bobby I mean, like, Smyrna is the, the gang. Origi- he's the, the original. Gang, he is the the blueprint of what New York looks like. Exactly, and drum and the music. young, yeah, and and drum, and, and the, the young, young version. Right, yeah, right. And and that so so when Bobby did that. And like everybody on the steps, and like everybody out on the block, and you know, dancing, having a good time. And then you go over to, I guess next will be six nine. You know, I, I like that. Gummo came out. You see this kid? I, when I first heard Gummo, I ain't know what was going on. Right. I seen a million dudes. I'm like, I can't even call a million dudes to get in my video <laughs> right now if I wanted to. <laughs> he got a he thousand. Had a he they, had a they had every, and I, I was assuming he didn't have the bag then. So I was assuming he was tired. And I think that's the maybe the false impression or the misimpression that was going on and how he got to where he you, got to. You you gotta realize these are this is a saying, and it could go a long way. Yo, I don't fuck with that nigga. Yo, I don't like that nigga. Yo, why you fucking with him? Uh uh. Relax. He's gonna do the right thing. Right, right. When a nigga tell you that, right, you start looking at your pockets. You start looking at how fucked up life is for you. Right. And if this kid is going to help that, right. we're going to put everything behind that. Right. 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 You understand what I'm saying? But how did they see that early? Because they were in the first video. Uh-huh. I don't under that. That's the part that I never get just like on the outside looking in. The first video ever of 6 9 he has a thousand of these non-trade dudes around him. I, I would have to... Uh, I would have to credit that to Mel Matrix, man. He's the big homie. He was the big homie out there. And so I had a, I had a theory because they always said 6 9 was the video man before he was ever mm-hmm. rapping. Right. So he, he was like a videographer or whatever. So I, I had a theory that he was just cool with everybody because he was taking videos and stuff. He was like a viral video guy before rapping. I don't, I don't know the whole story. Right. But like I said, those words, he's going to do the right thing, goes a long way. Right. Right, right, right. right. You in the streets, you carrying guns, you shooting at niggas, you got drugs, or whatever the case may be. Control and money is two different things. I might could control 100 niggas, mm-hmm. but this nigga could feed 100 niggas. And then, and then fame throws a whole fucking spiral into Absolutely. that Absolutely. Everybody want to be famous. But Everybody I don't get be that, though. So, so this, this is what I don't get. So... Okay, we agree that we're not even, right, we're off the first video. Now he's buzzing. He okay. got the money. He's feeding 10, 20, he's feeding everybody, let's just say, right? Why are we trying to rob him? Why are we fucking the bag up? Why are we doing what we doing trying to press him? I feel like now we, now, now you got to realize it's we, a power struggle. Now, yeah, now we power struggling. It's a power struggle. And New, that's New, where it all New, got messed New, up at. New York got a bunch of kings. That ain't been crowned. Absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? Ooh, right. So it's like, yeah, you the big homie, but nigga, I'm the big homie. Right. right. So everybody's the big homie in their own right. And they get money. <laughs> you and understand all what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you can't take away from what he did, excuse me, or what he did or what he did. So if you meet a nigga and he wanna rap and you put your your loyalty and everything behind him, but I'm your man and he's doing everything for you, and that's when I'm be like, yo, Chumba, what the fuck about me? Right, What's right. What's up? Why ain't you take care of me? Right, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Nah, and if you're sure. not used to that treatment, you're going to be like, man, I'm going to keep him right here. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, you That's know, a it's... mentality, too, like for real, because it happens yeah. It happens to me on a different scale, too. Right. Like, like how come you didn't answer my text? Or it's like, right. Yeah. It's, it's nothing personal. <laughs> it's nothing personal. It's not I'm busy personal. as shit. I got right. my son. I'm a, right. You know how, what I'm saying? Like, how, 
how come you booked his session and not mine? Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right. so like, that. It's all it's all, he hit me up two weeks ago for right. that job. Right. Weird old shit. So. <laughs> right. right. Real shit. Uh, that shit, really right. happened to me the other day. Bro. Right. Real. And like, I was about to get in an argument with this dude. Like, he was like feeling like I should have gave him extra special treatment. But it's not even about that. It's about me being busy. I'm sure you could relate. Absolutely. Your phone and, blowing up. And, and, entitlement is a, is, is a fucked up word. Man. Yeah, Real entitlement. Shit. That's the By, word. Entitlement. By the way, entanglement. I'm, shoot your shot got me <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's, let's, yeah. let's just get oh, that, that out means the way. we gotta take another one. Yeah, yeah, let's keep it, that shit almost over. Yo, yo, that, yo, that bottle almost Yeah, done. when the bottle wow. over, we over. So, well, we, we, about to, we about to be there, but I, I got a couple fit questions. Let's do it. Let's do it. First one, we're going to try to do this quick. Um, so what's up with uh, SAS? This is King Harris. Shout out to King Harris. He okay. said, uh, what's up with, uh, do you still do any music with SAS? And I what act- happened with the SAS situation? I actually never recorded with SAS. Mm-hmm. They was uh, a group of dames. Okay. And Dame stopped dealing with them for whatever reasons. Okay. And Joel started working with them. Okay. I really never had a relationship with SAS. Okay. And, 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 shout and out for to the record, them. SAS do- was a group from London? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And... and, and um, you know, I was informed that there was a video that uh, I don't. They, no one knew if it was real or fake that they were trying to hold. Uh, they were trying to hold uh, Jewels in London or something I like that. this guy. I'm just asking. <laughs> he gets to the real. I'm just getting Come to on, the real. Baby. I'm just you know getting to the real. I gotta keep it to the it, fish grease. Y'all know how I do. I'm not that creative. You feel nah, me? It was a video out there. I I I really don't know what take place. Is I think something to whereas. Uh, Somebody on our behalf, as far as Dipset, uh, took some show money and didn't right, do the show. Yeah, it was like yeah, or, or yeah, they did a okay. walkthrough and it was supposed to be show or something. Right, like, it was but, like uh, weird, like that. I never I, knew like what that was all about. I was running up a check at that time. I really didn't have nothing to do with me. Right. All right, and in the, in, the, in the last two, I gotta ask you, Rugarell. I known you for you mean handling the beefs, being in the beefs. Right. I just need to ask about two legendary ones. Let's do it. What is your feeling on Max B at this current moment? I love Max B. Shout out to Max B. He's about every, to come. Every on. time I see Max B, we sat down, we had drinks. Shout out to Max B. Shout out to French Montana. For sure. It's I wish y'all the best. It's my brother, man. Right. Max B I wish is y'all my the brother. Best. We we it was a touchy situation because Jim took care of me while I was in jail. Wow. Wow. Cam didn't take and I, I'm not saying Cam didn't take care of me, but he was so busy right. that I didn't even call him. Right. I used to call Jim assistant. Yo, I need right. this, I need that. Jim take care took care of me. Right. So out of respect for Jim, Jim might have been wrong on how he handled Max B. He might not have been wrong. So that was another casualty type of situation. So it really wasn't yet casualty of war. For another one or another. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go down with my right. nigga because he's my nigga. Right, right. I didn't start right. it. I had nothing to do it. But Jim is my brother. So right. out, of, out of respect, honor, and loyalty, I didn't, I didn't never got into that. God, shout out to Max B. Shout out to Max. Come B. home, Just had to come home and get his millions. Get, get your millions. And For one sure. last one. What about you in true life? I never met True Life a day in my life. Wow. Mm. I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. When you get into hip hop, wow. you start moving like the rappers move because you think that's what you're supposed to do. Right. But then when reality sets in, you be like, man, I don't even know this nigga, man. Right. <laughs> this shit ain't right. nothing to do with me. <laughs> right. Let me stay in my place. It's not about nothing. And to and, keep and, it real with you, I've never even met True Life personally. Wow. So. Wow. But by the way, we wish all them brothers the yeah. best of luck. Yeah, shout out to True Life. He shout just came home from life. jail. Right. You know shout what I'm out to True Life. Shout out to Max B. Shout out to Max B. Yeah. But I never met these guys personally, so I never. Right. When, it, when, when it's rap right. and you ain't do nothing to me personally, right. I ain't got no problems. When I see you, drinks right. on me. Let's right. talk about that shit. and Let's keep it moving. Keep that it shit moving. is old news. Yeah. Be a conversation you know I mean? we, for real. Let's yeah. take a shot to that, man. We, 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 you sure. mean, we got a lot of, we got a lot more going on. Racial injustice. We got the corona trying to kill us. Nah, let's we talk about all that. I'm yeah, here. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll, let's we'll talk about need all the, that. Uh, oh, so speaking of which, I'm glad you said that. Let's take a shot first. Oh, uh, we already I was, I, I, I was trying to skip it, but... <laughs> They got me well, fucked look, up, y'all. I don't think it's enough. For I ain't gonna lie, we bodied the bottle. We bodied Facts. the bottle. 1942 and, and that's the flow, thing. We baby. had to body the bottle. I had to make sure we bottled the body with Ruger around here. You know what I mean? You yeah, had shout, to shout body out the bottle. Because Ruger was like, thank you for having me, guys. You already, you already thank you. This was love. Ruger was like, yo, I'm drinking with y'all. Like, Absolutely. Fuck you mean. Word. <laughs> so real quick, 
Well, once again, just want to ask you on your opinion on some new topics. First things first, since we just said social injustice, uh-huh. how do you feel about a few different things? So first, we're going to start with how do you feel about Kanye West trying to run for president? Just like on a quick tip on like just like a hypothetical idea. I and think that's I, all brothers. I, my personal opinion, I think Kanye is a genius. He's exercising it. That don't mean he's going to win, but right, right. I, he might not I, even be on a ballot I, for real. For I'm not mad at Kanye West trying to at shoot all. his shot. At, oh. at, oh. <laughs> you can't get mad at just because I shoot my shout shot. Out to Kanye man, shoot his shot, just because man. I shoot my shot at a bad bitch don't mean I'm going to go home with him. Hey, but man. I shot my shot. I, I did my thing. And what's crazy, you, you know what's crazy about that? What? Yeah, he really got, almost got as much bread as Donald Trump. He has he more. Do. He has he more. Do. He's Ain't a that some shit, He has bro. more. It's three point three. This guy went from being a hundred millionaire and get, throwing it all on the table on some Dame Dash shit. Yep. To uh, being he's worth three point three. Is the billion? richest male uh, celebrity in the world. Yo, that's that's like but inspiring. A lot bro. of people think Kanye West is crazy. He's nah. not. He's Yeezy. He's Yeezy. He's Yeezy. He's Yeezy. But know, he's very uh, intelligent. Yeah, I'll fuck bro. with Kanye. And um, see, I, I just want to say one thing, though, um, uh, along those Kanye lines. Um, you know, a lot of his messaging can get misconstrued. Yes, it can. Um, you know, they always say to get it like it was. Uh, I, I heard somebody say uh, <laughs> something real imperative, like uh, just along those lines about, you know, how when people, especially black people, and we're talking about social injustice or any aspect things in, in America, they say, uh, you know, he, he, they use it as like, how do you get a gospel record on the urban media? You know, you got to curse. So you, they want you to get the, they want you to get the messaging misconstrued, so you can still present the message. And I think Kanye West has that ideology down, down pat. So when, when I, when, when I say that to say, he's thinking about the thirty years from now. He's thinking for about the people that's going to look back and say, oh, slavery was a choice. Now we got the chief chip in our head. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you know, Elon Musk just went on there and said he's going to put chips in everybody's head and all this other weird shit. So I think that's kind of like. Not to give him an excuse or not to, you know, back him. You know, I, of course, I stand behind a black brother and, um, you know, uh, in, in this uh, uh, social and just world that we live in. And, um, you know, not to get too deep on that. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, it literally is just that, though. You know, we, we got to stand behind our brothers. And um, I think I think Kanye actually does have some uh, good points that he's trying to make. And the messaging might be a little off. It might be a little off. Yeah. And he's, just, he's got motives to what he I does, agree. too. Simple as that. He's got motives to that, too. Like, he has motives. It was right before the album, right? He said right, right, right before right, the album. Right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, 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 and there's, like I said, there's motives. There's motives. There's all, there's there's, all types of the things. The delivery by me, Mr. Screw, but right. it's a method to his man. There's a so, message so to the man. So, you you been in the studio with Ye, right? Like, yeah, I've been around Ye. Like, you think, you think like, he's always been on that type time, kind of, to an extent, right? Absolutely. Like, he yeah. just didn't have the floor to where everybody would be listening to him. Exactly. Right, okay. and now everybody's Kanye, listening. Yeah, Kanye been on a, But he's on always the, on some other shit. <laughs> pink polos and... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Kanye he changed always going to be on bro. some other shit. He changed the game, bro. Yeah, man. Kanye, it's just, it's Kanye, just, Kanye, Kanye is an icon. Yeah, it's yeah, just, it's just, it's just a, ma- it, it, it doesn't even matter at the end of the day for me because it's just amazing a hip hop guy told him I want to run for president. And me, I think, personal opinion, no one else's opinion, I think if, uh, uh, if Kanye did win presidency, it would open up a lot of young black males that maybe could change some things because right now presidency politics aren't cool right and, that, and yeah. no one has made i mean barack kind of did that but everybody overlooks a lot of things that Kanye west did that nigga went to the fucking white house and told donald trump free larry hoover one of the biggest gang, gang gang leaders in the, of our time and, and, he, and, and he had the attention full full attention like, legendary. Legendary. come on trump free larry hoover real legendary shit. so it's like you know and then the I, last thing i want to say is i'm tired like kanye being right wrong or indifferent i'm tired of these powerful black voices not using their their voice. Well, well, I feel like one mistake. That's yeah. one thing. Hold on, one second, jump. Nah, go that, ahead. That's 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 one thing that kills me. You know, we can criticize the male that get out and say, "Yo, we tripping," but everybody else quiet. I know we're not gonna name no names, but there's a couple of people sitting on a, a B or close to it that ain't saying nothing. He not lying. 
I respect the guy who might misuse his voice here and there over the guy who don't use his voice don't at all. Say shit. Facts. Absolutely. And we'll, just, and we'll leave it See, down I, at I, that. I think Ye, though, he... He like announced too late too with his president shit. Like I feel like he's not all in with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even just talking about that like, specifically. He should just... he should have waited and really did it. You know what I'm saying? If he really wanted to, do it. I don't know if he wants to do it or not. But it's just the I. So like, like you got to think like it's just the I, I. I'm stuck on the ideology of that. Think about a rapper coming switching lanes and saying, "Yo, I want to be the president." Right. So like you, there's no. I've never like I'd be around a million kids. I've been in every hood in Philadelphia. I've never heard a kid say I want to be the president. Right, mm. right. A black, black kid. I mean, it's almost close or, to like. You know what it's, I'm it's I've never heard. That. It's almost close to Trump wanting to be president, though. But it's Trump, not Trump because Trump was a celebrity, though. though. You no, know I, what get I'm that, I get that. I get that. But yeah, I, like I, I, in that I, I, sense, right, you know what right. I'm saying. And then, and then, but Trump put the time in. Like I feel like Ye just did it late after the, they nominated Biden and all that shit. Not, then, not, then, then Ye was like, I want to be president. No, I get you know that, Trump. Oh, I, I, I get it. I get it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm just trying to say a different point. Like, if he wanted to do I'm it, I feel like he should have just... I'm trying to say a different point. No, no, you're right. For I'm sure, just for saying, sure. I'm, I, all, only thing I'm saying is, um, you know, we might be mad at Kanye or we might, whatever the situation is, but he did open the door and, you know, Tupac said the line best, and I don't want to misquote it. He said, I might not change the world, but I want to spark the mind that changed the world. world. Mm. Correct. So that's what that's what I Legendary feel like Kanye quote. is stuck on. You know, uh, yeah. you know, he, you know, I he's, think he's the person that's trying to change the world or right. he's trying, trying to spark, spark the, person. the person that changed and, and the somebody, world. And somebody's right. like following Ye to the fullest. Absolutely. Like, right. Because they made it cool for me. I'm now, hold on. I, before Barack, Hypothetically, I never looked at no presidency. I don't give a damn. Me neither. I, there's a lot of shit going on. Right. Right. I ain't worried about no presidency. But lately, you know what I'm saying? Hold up. What's Trump doing? What's Kanye doing? I might tune into it once a week. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? I'm right. saying to see what's going on. Who should I vote for? And 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 by the way, we're encouraging everybody to go out and vote. Um, what is that? November 12th. Yes, sir. Yes, Please go out and vote. 12th. Um, go out and vote. Please go out and vote. Sure. Um, you Very know, let's important. get the right person in, in office, and we're not, you know, going to say any candidate you choose it will. But uh, you know, let's get the right person in office. Wait, um, can you to, go out and vote? To, is to, that, to, no, go ahead. Yeah, you can. Not, you can go out and vote and mail not, in your ballot. Not to, to get, get off you. topic, and a lot of niggas might look at me funny, but I'm a Trump supporter. Where? That's interesting. Why? Why you say that? Mm. Because he's trying to bury the deep state. The, the what's already established type the shit. The deep state. Is the CIA, the FBI, and other government uh, 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 departments that's going to be here long, long after the president? All right. So here's the thing. I, I got. I, if gotta, you we, work for the CIA, now hear me out. Right. If you work for the CIA mm -hmm. or the FBI, right? Nine times out of ten, if you're in a ten to fifteen year career span, you've seen presidents come and go, right? The FBI and the CIA stays. But the agenda, right. yeah, the agenda is still there. The agenda is still there. That's right. deep, bro. It's some deep shit. So bro. if you work for the CIA or the FBI and you're in a 15 to 20 year career span right now, you've seen George Bush come and go, Barack Obama come and go, Trump come and go. Right. Yeah. If you career. get somebody in office who can't be influenced by money because he got his own. Right. That means that person is dangerous. We right. can't buy him off. That's true. Absolutely. And you That's can see true. it. You can see it in the media. But here's yeah. the thing. Ho, oh, oh, Here's the thing, though. I have to say this. Just it. Is, it has to be said. Um, one thing about Trump. Now, mind you, I'm gonna just give you a little background on me. I always said George Bush was my favorite president. You know why? When I was 18 years old, he gave me 500 dollars stimulus. Senior or junior? Senior. 2002. Okay. 2002. No, that's junior, I, right? No, that no, the junior. I'm sorry, junior, 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 junior. junior. The the 2002 junior. Um, he, when I when I worked, he gave me my little two two hundred, you know, four hundred dollars stimulus. I was lit. I said at the Damn, same. I ain't get that shit. What yeah, the well, fuck? yeah. <laughs> when, when you yo, no bullshit. He had a stimulus package back then, and it was like a tax oh, stimulus. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. you, as soon as you you apply, if you apply, you you get this. You know what I'm mm, saying? I it was like five hundred dollars if oh, you wow. if you had a job. I was like sixteen. I had a job, and I was, you know, I, I apply, and, you know, as soon as you apply, you get it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But Stimulus early in the game. Early in the game. Early, <laughs> that yo, shit, that shit. shit's a fucking term for, now, yeah. for real. No, like, but right. a, no, y'all got your stack. Did you? Did you? <laughs> I said that to say, same thing with Trump. You know, 
on the outside looking in, um, you know, I, I I I try. I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, uh, he, Trump does lower business taxes. Um, he has gave me um a few dollars. I've been working, so I haven't got my stimulus. But I, I, I he just I don't have well. a filter. Now, uh, that's hold on, that's hold on, his hold demise. On, hold on, Jim. Um, it, 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 um, that, that's amazing. And, um, I always look forward to, I always look forward to that, but I have to say this, um, as far as the dog whistling on the, on the, on the social and just issues, I cannot stand that. Mm. And that's just as a black man. Okay. Um, okay. so he, sure. he makes, he makes the landscape awkward to walk in. Um, because what happens is he makes the races feel comfortable. And that's the only thing I don't yeah, like. Yeah, and that, that's for votes. That's the only thing. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, hold, on, hold on one no. second. And my, my profession, delivering beer, I go to, you know, a lot of different places, outskirts, outskirts. You know, I'm in there. I'm seeing, say, Trump 2020. And, you know, cop, uh, um, people rioting and looting. Oh, these doing this and they doing that. It's, it's because of this. Like, you know, they, it's just a, you, you shoot, we kill. You know what I'm saying? Like. The dog whistles. Okay. Um, you know, uh, that's the only thing I could really say. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not too deep. I'm not, I, I do thank Trump for lifting the, the, the uh, drug mandatory law. I do thank Trump for, you know, uh, freeing uh, a, a lot of black individuals and uh, people in general that, you know, were... We're caught up in the, uh, you know, drug game and, you know, or, you know, Kim K and Kanye. They, once again, they went over there and got like 14 people freed. Shout out to them for doing that. Um, Shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, sure. But uh, at the end of the day, like I said, only thing that makes a landscape uncomfortable as a young black male is the dog whistling. Now, nah, it's definitely there. <laughs> no, nah, it's sure. definitely I there. I want to hear your opinion now, on the dog whistling. Now, what's wrong with catering to everybody? There's a difference between catering to everybody and caring. Trump's not catering to everybody. Okay. No, I, I beg actually, to differ. I, I, I beg to differ. No, I agree I with you. I beg to differ. You, you might he, be right. He might make racists feel comfortable in some degree. Right. And we might not like it. Right. But the disenfranchised right. and the minorities of our communities right. benefited off the stimulus checks. Facts. I don't give a fuck. That's a fact. Everybody I know got eight to ten grand. That's I'm the most not, money they I'm had not in filthy three years. rich. I'm doing well off. I'm okay. I got six figures in the bank. And I got a stimulus check. (laughs) (laughs) Are you crazy? (laughs) I said, wifey, fill that shit out and see if they send me the 1200 everybody getting. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, You you file your taxes. You got it. I got it. The the funniest meme I ever seen. So how can we get mad at him? The the funniest meme I ever seen was... uh, they said Obama gave us the trap phones and stimulus gave us the, I mean, uh, Trump gave us the re-up money. <laughs> oh. Fire emoji. I mean, Damn. fire me. Damn. Fire. <laughs> Obama gave us the trap phones and Trump gave us the re-up money. One, oh one, one, th- one thing I can see that's starting to show right now, too, is like, he, like, they could, you could tell that he's going against, like, the establishment that's been there for years. The deep state. But right. hold on. And, Are and, you familiar and, with the, who the deep state is? I don't know, but I know Nancy Pelosi's over there chatting. Absolutely. Like, she's like, <laughs> absolutely. scared to death. Absolutely. Weird yeah. shit. It's like weird absolutely. right now. <laughs> absolutely. And Joe Biden's vice president is a piece of shit. I hate her. Yeah. Right. Joe Biden, if you go check his history, He's been a racist, right. so it's like. No, I agree. Yeah, and, Joe, uh, Biden, he's too, he's Joe Biden. Laws, yeah. Joe Biden is too old, yeah. and he's a documented racist. Yeah, in if 1988, you, Joe Biden said same crime for the same time, and that you. was uh, you know, drug mandatory laws. If and you black go to old pictures up, uh, of Trump, if you go to old pictures of Trump, yeah, Trump was hip hop legend back in the day. He has pictures of him with Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. him with all of 1980s royalty. Yeah. What Ray Kwan said, guess who's the black Trump? Right. Chick be flowing like lot. No, a lot of people you, said that. Come, come on, nah, man. That was a thing. So I think it got it got sour when he, See, the only when thing he is, went against Mexico only, with that wall and all, shit. The only thing I want to say, though, right. is you know I don't know. See, and, and this, and this I think is, we should finish this Yeah, off. let's finish yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're all going to get oh, one out One thing I just want to say is, I don't know. No, 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 Jumbo. I don't know if me saying I support Trump will spread a false rhetoric. I don't And that's the only thing that just like just kind of stops me from saying it because I do like some of the, the things he's done. 
I just don't like the uncomfortable landscape. A and false I don't rhetoric know. can be interpreted. I feel yes. like the government's fucked up. I get it. There. I get it. I get it. The government, the government in general, black community, the government in general is fucked up. Like before Trump, it was fucked up. So, I like I said, I'm. Do what you feel, but as a young yeah. black community, I might have to say, I, I like, I, I, I'm a, you know, a go against the grain type of guy. So I like Trump just as far as like going against the grain and doing whatever the fuck you want. I love that. I kind of like Kanye for that. I like Trump for that. One, like one thing I can say about, that. one thing but, I like about hold Trump. On, hold on, I want, but, but like, just, just that I like, but I just don't know if I can say I support him because I don't know what. Like, I had never had a conversation with him where I could understand his full agenda. Yeah. And, you know, and it could be very... You don't understand his end game. Right. I don't gotcha. know his end game. Gotcha. You know, because gotcha. I, 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 you know, I, I like certain things you're doing. I, I, I dislike a lot of things you're doing. <laughs> and one, one thing you're doing is help me out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't get how we're tugging and pulling in the slave game. I, I got to go with the streets because I'm a street nigga. So what's when the street o- saying? When Obama was in office... Young Gigi dropped the album Recession. Ooh. There was no money in the streets. Trump's in office scamming niggas is making millions off of SBA loans. Yes. <laughs> Unemployment. It's money Shout in the streets. The Yo, the scamming game is on a whole different it's level. It's on too. Yo, uh, the they scamming, pay- the dark web is on fire dark right now. They paying fiends for social security numbers. Yo, out here getting Shout out to Shit the dark crazy. web, the CCVs and the bins and all so, that. So if Trump is feeding the streets <laughs> and I'm a street nigga, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? I'm supposed to side with, bro. I don't know. One thing I can say is that I feel you on the fact that Trump makes the, the races feel comfortable because he, he definitely does. He does. But I do like that Trump lifted like things as far as like uh, the health care fine. If you don't have health care, you get fined. But, but here's, if you the file thing, taxes. here's the thing. I paid that shit. And and I, I paid it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I didn't have it. <laughs> I had no health care. I paid it too. <laughs> I'm no, healthy. <laughs> see, see, see. And, 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 and historically, we always say it's not about what you say, it's about your acts. Absolutely. Okay, so I, I, I like some of Trump's actions, but I hate what he said. But that yeah. makes sense. Twitter, his so Twitter, his Twitter is the worst. Like, <laughs> he I don't sucks. know, like, what, he sucks at Twitter, what side I should take with Trump. You know what I'm saying? That's the hard that put, part. Uh, that puts me in a fucked up situation because I hate what my wife say, but I love <laughs> that she does, though. <laughs> She'll curse right, me the fuck right. out, call me a bunch of piece of shit, right. and then I, I, I wake up to Great shrimps and analogy. lobster with grits and all that. So I'm like, do I judge her by what she say or do I judge her by what she do? <laughs> That's funny right. as shit, though. Right, so we gotta shoot her a shot to judge him on wives by what shit. she says. Right, right. <laughs> and her actions. Oh man, I gotta That's say, funny as shit, Ruger, you are absolutely amazing. Nah, this show so, is beautiful. Um, thank, I love this show. Thank yo, you for um, giving your honest opinion about everything. Hey, um, no, thank yo, you for having you know, me on this show. Your first interview in two years, bro. I, thank you, bro. We can't thank you enough. You know no, thank you for having me because a lot of people be wondering what the fuck is Hero doing? Yo, what is he doing? He don't post on Instagram. Right. He's not active. Right. People get to see me on Shoot Your Shot. Absolutely. Hey. So I love it. And, and, but let me say. Hold on. By the way, what, what do you have going on? Are you are you about to drop you about to drop the last triangle? I'm about to la- I'm state? about to drop Golden Triangle. Where can can, I, get, can I get a beat on there, dog? Absolutely. <laughs> Good I, I, question. I was scared to ask because I know J- Jumbo's oh, real no. busy. I'm going to give him the whole catalog. He, he's working man. with a lot of Bruce, up and coming artists. Jump, so I send him the 50 oh, pack. I, I, I respect That's people's space. Guy, right. But I would love to get some production for right. you. Absolutely. Listen, we we going to sit down. And engineering. Jump. All of it. I, I, I want, play top dollar I, for I it. I want the whole album. Don't even worry about a favor for a favor. I want a hit boy situation. We appreciate situation you, brother. Let's get more than anything. I love it. Uh, real but, shit, uh, yo. Honestly, I swear to God, you know, let's work. You heard it. For, you heard it first on the shoot your shot. Shoot yep. your shot. Shoot your shot, man. Um, and if you need anything, I have a lot of political connects. We're going to talk about that off, okay. off camera. Okay. Um, I definitely. Um, I heard in one of your other interviews you you might want to feature it to it. I'm I'm, I'm uh, okay. real good friends with them. I got you on whatever you want. I got a nonprofit organization. Girl, call. I what have, is it called? It's called Shanice Tots. Okay. And my wife's name. Okay. Mm. We uh. We uh we do uh daycare for uh, less fortunate people. Does it have an Instagram? Uh, no, it doesn't have an Instagram. Okay. It has a Facebook. We just started oh, Facebook. the Facebook. Okay, perfect. But we do daycare services for f- uh parents who are less fortunate. So, okay. so you work in, you can't afford daycare or whatever the case may be. We watch your kids. We take care of them. We feed them. 
We uh we take them on uh, trips and stuff like that. Oh, that's perfect yeah, right now because yeah. people are getting random jobs. Tell, absolutely. Tell them where they can find it and what they yeah, can what, do what to can support. Sha- Shawnee's Tots on Instagram. Or on and Facebook. Sha- and Shawnee's Tots on Facebook. Okay, 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 okay. Got you. And I've been dibbling, dabbling. Shout out to Philly. I don't know what it is, but... Anything you need in Philly, I got you, brother. You you in both now. You stepping in Bronx and out here, right? Yeah, I, I, got, I own a home out here. Okay. I live out here. Me and Jumbo are neighbors. I live out here. We hey, neighbors. My guy. And I'm Shout back and forth to New York. But I've been heavy on the property. Dope. I bought five properties in in, in, New, in uh, Philly. Dope. And uh, I'm definitely big on the property. Hey, else, I'm going to just say one thing. Shout out to Bad Man Kevo and shout out a few other people. Bro, I've been seeing people buy properties over credit cards. Like, I'm talking about legit. Like, they they, they built up their credit so high, they got $100,000 limits, and they're buying $30,000, $40,000 homes now, off their credit cards. Listen, if you sitting on some extra money, I recommend that you buy some property in Philly. Mm. They got houses yes. going for $30,000, $20,000, $5,000. You flip them? I'll flip them. I'll buy a house for $30,000. And you sell them or rent them? I'll buy a house for $30,000. I'll put twenty to thirty thousand in yep. it, right, and then I'll sell it. Yep. Oh. Or you could just have it or, as a property, income or, property. Yeah, like if I, because I'm, I might have a few friends that you, might need people that need some. You th- want ten properties are gonna make you a thousand dollars a month. He said it the best. Mm. He said it. Ten thousand. He said it. And, and if you get if you get ten thirty thousand dollars properties, that's three hundred thousand. You can buy one house for three hundred thousand. And that's something you can leave to your daughter. And that's hit, something that you can leave. Hit, to your, we working for our last name. Hit, we working for our last and name. And in twenty Absolutely. years, it triples. Absolutely. We ain't even talking 20 years. But. <laughs> Just saying. The, the, yeah, the, so the property, the equity. The 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 American um average income that is 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 um comfortable is ten thousand dollars a month. So all you need is ten properties. I'm not gonna say all you need, but that's you, you want to work with you. That's a part of the statistics? Yeah. Ten thousand dollars. Mm, I didn't a know month. that. Yeah. Okay. What well, like to make that much? Yeah, ten thousand dollars a month, bring home. That's like the that's like the comfortable living. Um, you know, uh, a, a, average is Fifty thousand, so that would—I don't know what the number is on that, but ten thousand. Ten thousand is one hundred and twenty twenty yeah. grand a year. Yeah, so that's like that's th- that's like the beautiful. schooling level. Yeah. I think that I think they kind of put that when they re- recommend schooling like, at college. Right. Like it's that's beautiful like when you do that. You it's beautiful. That's a that's a that's a hundred and twenty grand a year. So if you could do ten thousand dollars a month, right. I gave you a way to do it. Thirty. If you buy, could do if you could do five thousand a month, buy, buy ten thirty thousand dollar house. You you do one a year. You do one a year. So is that your your main investments right now? Is like real estate? Yeah, that's one of my main investments. Yeah, because that's, that's one of my main investments. You, you need some. You need, that, you need, you need and, some investors and, with you. And why not? Why not? Right. That, that and I gotta forex. Take your number down for the, oh, that and forex. forex. <laughs> that and forex. forex. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. I've been forex cashing, is a thing right now. I've been now. cashing out on forex. Shout out to the forex market right now. Shout out to Forex oh, right man. now, man. It's a thing. Can, can anybody hit you up for the Forex advice or some Forex? Anything? I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm I'm new to it. All right. Me too. I'm yeah. new to it. I have somebody who's helping me. Gotcha. Who's okay. running my Forex business. And uh, it's pretty much it's pretty lucrative. It is pretty yeah, lucrative. Because I had somebody in my DM talking about pay $20 a month and uh, I'll teach you. Uh, you'll be able to make this much on Forex. Oh, no. Nah, I can introduce you to my guy. Yeah. I can I'm like, to my uh, guy, he get you I'm right. like, how about you just pay my 20 bucks a month and you make that for me? Because <laughs> I, I ain't a dickhead. Absolutely. I ain't trying to play me. Absolutely. Yeah, right, right. Absolutely. <laughs> I need to introduce you to your guy, though, by the way. Yeah, I need yeah. your guy. Nah, for sure. Nah, he's sure. dope. He's dope. Uh, uh, he's dope. Absolutely. Because sure. you, you're familiar with Forex, so. Absolutely. I know my. I know, I know. know all my. Yo, it's crazy. Me and Chuck been, been in the stocks for a for little long, minute. Right. We were doing Forex like three years ago. Absolutely. You were selling me. Absolutely. And I know all my setup. I, I know I all my bad. charts. I know all my RSIs. My, I know everything. My whole thing is I be okay, fucking up on. Okay. Yeah, no, I be I fucking up on stocks. Late, like a uh, a uh, uh, what do they say? See, a day me? late and a dollar short. Yeah, that's you were selling like, me. Yeah. You were selling uh, me. Like, you were selling me. Oh man. You know, uh, I I love that. Uh, you know, see when when me and Jumbo, just a little quick backstory. When me and Jumbo first got into stocks about five six years ago, we used to wake up every morning like eight o'clock in the morning when the market opened. We used to uh, you know, Facetime. We used to be on Skype calls before all this yeah. nonsense. Losing we used money to watch, and all watch, that. Watch, <laughs> losing money. Oh, you was deep in it. Jumbo yeah. was deep in it. Nah, we was doing okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. We was doing it. We were trying to hit them penny stocks. We was hitting them penny. I was just about to get. 
paying right. attention. Right. 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 It was stock. rough, dog. The, the penny it stocks rough. are rough. So it's then still we, rough. It's still rough. It still is. It's but still then, is. but then we went in the then we went into forex and then we started doing the forex a little bit. We double and dabble and that forex is a lot quicker money, but it's so much more volatile. Um, yeah. But you know, well, penny stocks are volatile too. But penny stocks are volatile. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, Absolutely. <laughs> me, I should have kept Apple when I had it at a hundred dollars the first time. Yeah, and I was telling and Sunny and it. Rock and all you had, them. The, you had the world in your lap and didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, no bullshit. More than once. Well, I, I remember I sent them More the text message seven to one split. This was like three or four years Jeez. ago. Bought it was that shit ninety-two dollars. I bought it at a bean. He waited eight sold days. Sold it. Sold it when the fucking it was a flash crash. It went to five hundred and just split, literally. Yeah. So that's five Shout grand. Us. That's five grand. But you know, it's cool though. It's that's cool, nothing. you know. It's we, small we, things to a giant. You know. We, so one one thing, one, that. one, one, one thing they one thing they say right. one, 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 one thing they say about uh stocks they say you know you leave pro you leave, you leave money on the table you 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 yeah. secure profits leave money on the table that's what you do all day because what happens if you try to get all the money off the table the table gonna collapse on you and that's what's I gonna like happen that. every time I like yeah. that that's a fact I like that's that real shit that's a fact it's a lottery ticket sometimes but you know you know and and if you're Warren Buffett and you know it's not I don't so, get too deep it's not the something stocks, I'm all but, uh, the way in <laughs> as I should be anyway you know Warren Buffett yeah. said uh you know uh you only invest in stocks that you eat. Yo, I got an email from Warren Buffett wow. the other day. Yeah. He said, you only invest in stocks He knows that you Warren Buffett quotes. That's huge. Yeah. Wait, say that again. My bad. You only, you only, you only invest in stocks that, that you, you eat. eat. Damn. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. So his first billion dollars was off uh, Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Oh. Yeah. Warren Buffett? Warren I never Buffett. knew that. Yeah, yeah he's cool. He's, he's a lot of was off, uh, So he invested in, one, uh, in, in Coca Cola? Yeah, he basically owned own that shit. Yeah, he basically owns it at this yeah. point. He he had a, he had a uh, carpet factory and or he was like a working in a carpet factory and invested like five hundred dollars in nineteen sixty or fifty. Damn, because uh, he's like eighty years old now. But um, yeah, nineteen like fifty or uh, sixty, he was invested like five hundred dollars a week. I love these type of conversations. Then, back then, and he did that every week for like seven years. Yeah, I didn't see. And the, and, and Coca Cola is the number one drink drink in the world. Yeah, I didn't see the McDonald's, the McDonald's. Uh, 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 documentary on Netflix. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't see the documentary, but I watched the movie. Uh, what's the what's the movie with, about McDonald's? When the boy eats that shit every day. Nah. What? Uh, what? How docu- how how McDonald's was made. That's what the one I'm talking oh, about. That's you what you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Huge. I gotta peep that. Huge. What's it called? I Huge. Forgot I forgot it, but. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, I seen that. Huge, Because it started out as they was doing, um, what was they doing? Like, they were just doing, like, ready to make, like, ice cream or something like that. I forgot what they were doing. Then he came in there and said, yo, this is genius. Like, we I should start fast food. Yeah, it was fast food. Then they was like, yo, They took them right. to the spot where they had the burgers right. and everything. Make, make. Yeah, it was like, okay, we didn't have a yeah, pre-made they menu. They basically copied somebody in the beginning, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah I heard Absolutely. that before. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they, and they just took it to a different level. Absolutely. That's crazy. You know, they were the first that pre-made at, menu. That happens in music, pre-made too, menu. a lot. Huh. Copy somebody and then huh. take it to well, another Well, I mean, that's where hip-hop comes from. That sampling is hip-hop. Well, yeah, for sure. Sampling is hip-hop. But, um... Shout out to well, Heat anyway, Makers. <laughs> shout out to Heat Shout out to Heat Makers. Shout out to Hell Real. Shout, shout out to Jumbo love, Beast. Love, shout love. out to Jumbo Sound Studio. Checkmate Studios. TV. Shout out to oh. Checkmate TV. Ruger. We got the 1942 in the building. We bodied the You mean? Yo, the bottle. Thank I can't you, bro. thank you enough, thank brother. You, bro. Shout thank out to Hell Real. For sure. Thank y'all for having me. I, I need a shake, brother. You mean? I need a shake, bro. Love, I appreciate love. you, good Shout brother. Shout out Ruger. Sure. Thank these guys Ruger. for having me on the show. Find that new project. This is a dope show. Find Please that. tune in. Nothing but recommendations. You already know. And, that, and it is what it is. Shoot your shot podcast. Love you guys. We are out. Have a shot. Shoot your shot, dickhead. Ah. Fire, dog.